Viva Mexico cabrones! Welcome to this FIFA 17 experiment video where we will basically uh, be honoring, I guess you would say, the upcoming Mexican League final. So basically we were taking out three um, Premier League teams, uh, the three teams that were relegated this team, and be adding in uh, Chivas and Tigres who are you know, in the upcoming final in the second leg, of course, just played that first leg, in, which was a very exciting game, I have to say, 2-2, so it's going to be a great second leg. On the third team will be, of course, Club America. They are the arguably one of the biggest teams, if not the biggest, in, in Mexico. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how this all pans out. Hope you guys do tune into the final in real life also if you have the opportunity to do so, as they are always quite uh, lit, I, I guess I would say. Uh, yeah. Uh, I feel awful saying that, but either way, we're going to take a look at the table uh, here coming up at the end of basically the first half of the season, 19 games in. You can see actually Club America is at the 10th spots, so they're actually doing fairly well, and they're even only like 7 points away from uh, Liverpool, who is in a Euro Europa League spot, so not too bad for them so far. Um, only 20 goals scored though, so they're a bit low in that area. Um, 25 goals allowed is, is not too bad, definitely kind of mid-table area, so interesting to see that they're still in that good spot despite kind of the bad goal differential you could say with Tigres. Uh, is just outside the relegation zone, and fortunately Chivas are bottom there with only 10 points. Uh, giving up a lot of goals, worst defense in the league basically, while well, Tigres is basically not scoring too much themselves either. Uh, the defense is is pretty poor I would say as well, so giving up quite a few goals themselves. But uh, we'll take a look at the top scores. Uh, you can see Romero is actually with 7 goals, which puts him at the, puts him at the 7th spot, so in a pretty good position at the moment he is. Uh, we'll see if we see any other players there. You can see another uh, America player in uh, Parata, so in a pretty good spot from him with 5 goals on the, on the season. So so far so we'll see how uh, you know some of the other players look we'll see if there's any guys in the assist uh, column as well um, as of course that is certainly possible but all so you see going down here only three assists puts uh, Jignac at the the ninth spot so that's interesting to see we'll see if anyone else has uh, themselves on the top 25 ranking um, Romero with uh, three himself it looks like they're putting him 19th uh, so a lot of people with three assists as well as four so kind of basically making things all like tight up there I guess you'd say and Parato has two himself as well uh, so also can see some of the clean sheets uh, March has seen with 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 three um, and so was Guzman with two and Cota has one so quite poor from all those defenses obviously by the lack of clean sheets it looks like but uh, we'll now see here at the end of the season the results yes yes uh, so America ended up being 14th, um, so they are in a pretty good spot. Kind of looks like they tailed off a little bit with their form, obviously dropping from 10th to 14th. Uh, and we'll see the goals uh, for. They had 33 goal f goals for, 59 goals allowed. A minus 26 goal differential, but still above Tigres, who only had a minus 12. So that's very interesting to see. They scored a lot of goals here at the end. Uh, 41 goals for them, 53 goals allowed. Um, so goal differential only is minus 12. Is, is much better than those teams around them. Even, you know, obviously America is right above them. While Chivas... Um, 38 goals scored is not too bad, but the defense was quite bad, obviously giving up 67, second worst in the league um, behind Burnley, so quite poor from there, so unfortunately Chivas, uh, according to FIFA, if they were to put you in the Premier League, you guys would get relegated. Oh no, that is awful, but yes, we will take a look at the top scores now as well. Uh, we'll see if any guys uh, from these Mexican clubs got on the list, so no one so far among the top 15 it looks like, unless I have really bad eyes, no. No one there yet, so we'll see if we'll, we'll go down a little bit. We'll see Pulido actually uh, 10 goals. It's actually a pretty good season from him, which puts him 17th tied with a lot of people uh, with those goals. So that's actually not too bad for him. Not, not an awful season. And Zerarayan with 9 goals. Um, so you can see a Tigres player getting on there. Surprise, uh, Jignac didn't like end up with, with more goals, but uh, oh well. Uh, that sucks, I guess. But uh, assist also. Uh, you see, Pulido also had six assists. So that's a very good season from him. Uh, that's a very, very good season. And then uh, Jignac with five assists himself as well. Uh, Vargas with five assists. And then Romero with five assists. He definitely tailed off because he was at like with seven goals at the start. Unfortunately, I guess he just maybe got injured or something to prevent him from. Uh, you know, being higher on the goals list um, because he looked to be on pace to be one of the, among the top scorers in the league. But uh, we'll see Tigres with uh, Guzman is going to have five clean sheets. Uh, Cota will have some clean sheets as well. Uh, we'll take a look at the yellow cards. So 
you can see actually Pizarro, Guido Pizarro is high up there as, there, as well as uh, a couple other players. But uh, I don't really care about that. The cards, I don't even know why I showed the cards. But I'll leave you with this beautiful picture of Bofa Bautista because I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this experiment video. Oh uh, yes, wonderful, wonderful. I am now officially a career mode YouTuber, so honor me. I love you. And I'm just kidding to honor me. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be saying out now, and I'll catch you guys later.